Additive manufacturing, sometimes called 3D printing, isn't what you think it is. For part making with extreme complexity and impossible to fabricate features like enclosed volumes, it's unequaled, and surprisingly to many, it's been around for decades. So why does it feel so new? Well, mainly because the technology of additive is still evolving with multiple radically different operating principles, each with advantages and disadvantages. Whatever the technology, additive is now a legitimate mass production tool and aligning machine capability, part costing and return on investment is critical. Four experts joined me at the roundtable to discuss advanced additive as our production tool. And it was a very interesting discussion. Take a look. Jeff, Evolve, uh, you're a manufacturer of, of uh, additive equipment for production uh, technologies. I understand your technology, however, and I mentioned that there are different ways to do this, is a little different from the traditional ways we think of, of making parts with additive. Can you tell me a bit about it? You know, Evolve Additive Solutions uh, was born specifically to solve the problem that you referenced, right? To use additive manufacturing in production technologies. Most users of additive traditionally have had to make a choice, right? A hard choice. And that is a lot of the technologies you can get precision, you know, high fidelity, surface finish, uh, repeatability, um, but you do it in a non-standard material, right? You do it in a photo curable resin or something that is, um, you know, not the kind of materials that uh, product developers and engineers want to work in. Or you work in production resins, thermoplastics like ABS, but you have to do it with um, less precision or less fidelity because it's thicker layers of material, et cetera. Evolve saw that problem and invented a technology. Evolve, Evolve invented STEP. STEP stands for Selective Thermoplastic Electrophotographic Process. And that process uh, is hubbed in electrophotography. Think of kind of your laser printer, right? Your paper laser printer. And because of that, we can selectively transfer particles significantly smaller and significantly smaller layers than you can do in any other uh, technology where you have to spread a layer. What you get, therefore, is fidelity and surface finish at injection mold quality levels um, with real materials, real uh, thermoplastics that are the necessary solution for people that want to bring product into production. You know, one thing that Jeff left off to begin with, too, that I wanted to chime in on was the accuracy. I mean, depending on the parts, you can see accuracy of, of anywhere from plus or minus three to plus or minus five thousandths, which is something that is also attaining injection mold and level accuracies. It's, it's impressive. So I would say that although it's not your average machine you would implement into a, a, a floor, uh, it very quickly pays for itself and is proving to be successful with all our customers. So. Um, going to step though, it has been that nice blend of of all that uh, working with Evolve and and uh, seeing what we can get out of that, and we were pretty happy with with being able to achieve really that near injection molded piece at the end of the day. And it's it's really the first technology we've seen that we've been able to deliver on an actual contract with confidence to put it in the field. So that's been uh, been pretty fun to work with as well. It's been in the last 10 years that the technology has broached into production. And, you know, a production system, whether it's a metal system, whether it's the step system, uh, or whether it's a sintering system, you know, there's a, those are higher price tag implementations on a factory floor. There's, there's no doubt about it relative to a prototyping system. However, I've, I've done the sort of cost of ownership uh, too many times in, in my life. And by the time you amortize the cost of the printer over the seven to 10 year life of a printer on a, on a factory floor, the percent of the cost of the printer in the part is relatively low. It's always less than 10%.